just noticed this lip combo, eye combo, this whole outfit just doesn't go. I don't know why the lip combo is picking up. It's this tart, moody lip shirt. Lip surgeon. Lip. We're just gonna roll with it. Everything's random tonight. Okay, so I wish I did this lip color because in the video, it's, it's making me mad how it looks. But anyways, sorry that I rushed this video. Guys, I was really angry. Just, just keeping it real. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Patricia. Today I decided to do a random what's in my bag video. I guess that's what you call it. <sighs> I really don't know what's in this bag. It's huge. I end up using it pretty much every day. All right, so let's get started. This bag is huge. It's not like a luxury bag. It looks like it, that's why I picked it out. And it's pretty sturdy. I wish I knew the name of it, but unfortunately I don't. I don't even know what brand it is. I bought it from Zulily, which I freaking love that website. And I've had it for around a year and a half. It was only $39. I'm hella cheap when it comes to purses. And I think this just goes with everything. But anyways, let's just get into this. So I have my wallet. It's matching. This is by Jessica Simpson. Freaking love this and all that good stuff, which I'm not going to show you guys. And yes, I usually have my phone in there. Oh, what is this? A random lottery ticket. I don't even play the lottery, but occasionally my husband and I do. Went up to $3,000 and I won $2. You <laughs> always have to have your water. This is probably not even good. Not even gonna drink it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so there's like a bunch of lip stuff. What is that? Oh, so this fragrance, Victoria's Secret Bombshell in Bloom. Love this. I've been missing you. It's so funny how things just randomly show up Sorry about that, guys. All right, moving on. Oh, I see some medicines. Got my inhaler. Yes, I have asthma and it sucks. And I have some chewable aspirin that I've never used. Hopefully I don't have to use it because I hate taking medicine. I'm just one of those stubborn people that I'm like, no, I won't take medicine, you know? All right, we have a shit ton of lip products. Ooh, deodorant, this stuff is good. Dove Advanced Care. Travel size stuff is the way to go. Oh, we have some gum. And there's actually some gum pieces that aren't melted. I'm surprised. I have an empty glass case. Yes, I wear glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now. I have a pen that comes in handy. Hair ties, yes. Ooh, this kabuki brush. Not kabuki brush, but it's one of those retractable brushes. This is okay. I, th I think this thing was like 30 bucks, which is ridiculous, but I didn't pay for it. I got it from BoxyCharm. Love BoxyCharm. Some hand lotion. This is the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. Like this stuff, this stuff smells pretty good, but it also has like a menthol scent. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. We have a rollerball. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Love this. I haven't tried the white one, but I know you can mix it. Whoa. Maybe not right now with that Victoria's Secret stuff. Some more hair ties. A Walmart receipt to what? Facial wipes, I guess. Oh, I did, I did get these new makeup remover wipes by the Walmart brand. Got some feminine hygiene products. One pad. Why only one? I don't know. But again, with the travel stuff, the Pantene hairspray. This is in number four. Extra hold. 24 hour humidity. My hair could kind of use that right now. This lip color is really bothering me. It looks so different off camera, but I think it's the lighting. Oh, we have a penny in here. Two pennies. A mascara, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Volume. This is actually good stuff. Another feminine product, Summer's Eve Cleansing Cloth, you know. A wrapper, 
What the fudge is this? Okay, all right. So this looks like little freaking deer poops, poops, whatever. They're crunch bars. The I went to the movies. Oh, and I, I never saw the movie, but somehow the crunch poops he spilled in my purse. I don't know. I need to throw this away. Nasty. This video is probably really boring, but honestly, I just put random stuff in here. Mostly lip products. Let me just show you guys all the lip products. Well, you can't really see. But we're going to go through them because I'm a lip junkie. I cannot live without lip stuff. And we have more of those palettes. Goodbye. Oh, two pennies. Forgot to show you guys that. But that's everything in my purse. No. One more hair tie. <sighs> okay, let me just show you guys the lip products. I think I usually have more, but let's see. Ooh, been looking for this. The, I think it's called C.O. Bigelow. I don't know what it's called, but it is the Mintha Lip Shine. This stuff is good, just don't put it on at night because you get a weird texture. I don't know, just ugh, nasty. Went to Kmart and I bought a pack of two soft lips. I love these. I used to love these a long time ago. This is this is in vanilla and it smells really good. There's SPF 20 and pearl, which I don't know. Ooh, yeah, this one smells really nice too. We have a Mac, two MAC lipsticks. The first one is Velvet Teddy. I need to wear this more often maybe. If you can't tell, I love the pinky nudie shades. This is the H&M, what are you? Cream Chestnut. This has a really nice formula too. So there's the H&M one right there. Oh, one of my favorite ones. Oldie but a goodie, L'Oreal Ferris Nude. Hate the smell of this, but so good. Right there, just goes with everything in pretty similar but they're definitely not dupes. This is my favorite pinky nude shade. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Not matte, lies Revlon. But oh my god, it smells so good. I usually don't like scented stuff that smells really fruity, but this stuff oh, it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Right there and this is in the shade Seduction. And the very last product is another lip product. Another nude shade, go figure, and this is by Flower Cosmetics in the shade Set Me Freesia. This is a great lipstick. Smells a lot like L'Oreal, but it is a little bit drying, but I think it goes really good with any kind of makeup look. And there's Set Me Freesia. And I don't know why, but this lighting is not true to color at all. Like This lip color right now is really ticking me off because it's not red, it's not whatever this is. But so that was everything in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. I will be uploading a first impressions video on the Nivea Post Balm shave thing, whatever it's called, the primer, the really hyped about product that's been on YouTube, along with a first impressions on the, Mar on the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Keep an eye out on that video. And if you guys liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.